All right, brother Cedric again. How many of you, even though I can't see you by show of hands, use antibacterial soap? Hello? How many of you do? Why? Have you ever asked yourself the question, why am I using antibacterial soap? Your first response, probably gut reaction, is going to be to remove the germs and the bacteria from my hands and or body. But did you not know that regular soap will do what you believe antibacterial soap is doing better? So when you see antibacterial soap advertised you're thinking oh it's gonna clean me up just so much better than regular soap and water would not so you see there's an ingredient called triclosan t-r-y-c-l-o-s-a-n it is a bacterial antiseptic found in most antibacterial soaps. I'm talking about the bars and I'm also talking about this type in the pump that you see commonly in a lot of bathrooms across America. In people's homes, at the kitchen sink, in hospitals, in restaurant bathrooms, just public places. You see these things. Antibacterial soap. Now this particular one that I have here uh, it's peach flavor or fragrance I'm sorry I don't think anyone should be eating this but anyway it contains about 10 ingredients that I can't even pronounce I'm not going to even attempt to pronounce these words on here if you don't already have some in your home or in your workplace just take a a drive or stroll to your local store and look on the shelf and read the ingredients and you'll see what I'm talking about. But ladies and gentlemen, this triclosan hurts your and our immune system. It compromises your immune system and it has been associated with muscular dystrophy. I kid you not. Also, it causes hormonal imbalance. Hormones in the human body are supposed to be balanced by virtue of nature. That's how we're made. Anytime we put something in and on our body that alters our own hormonal system, metabolically we need to get away from now this trichosan saying that I just mentioned does exactly that and as I said it's been associated with causing two specific conditions hormonal imbalance and muscular dystrophy and then a few other things so do you really want to take that risk with your antibacterial soap you see, you take this stuff right here, you pump it in your hands, and 15 seconds under some water, ladies and gentlemen, regular soap does the same thing. Now, the largest human organ that we possess externally is our skin. Our skin covers every inch of our body from the bottom of our feet where our toes are to the top of our head it's the largest living organism your skin is alive your skin has cells that are living and breathing and your skin is your protection from the outside world of harmful bacteria follow me for a moment 
Note that I said harmful bacteria. Bacteria is always on us and around us. I have a table right here. I guarantee you there's bacteria there just by me putting my hand here. The sheet of paper on this clipboard has bacteria on it. The shirt that I'm wearing has bacteria on it. So do my glasses. So does my laptop. So does the remote control. It has bacteria. We live in the world of germs. We have good and bad bacteria. That's the way nature has it. And it's balanced. However, someone told us, someone made us believe that all bacteria is bad. And it's not. Should you take a bath and a shower? Yes, you should regularly. However, did you not know that things enter your body through your nose while you breathe, through ingestion, when you eat and you swallow? It enters your body through absorption. That's why when people put lotion on and cologne, they spray it on and they rub it in so it can stay. That's absorbed into your skin and your bloodstream. That is why you see some medical professionals prescri prescribe certain things for their, their customers or their patients and they say, put this pill under your tongue, it'll absorb. You don't even have to swallow it. Some things, especially tinctures, you put them under your tongue and it's absorbed immediately into your bloodstream. Some things you put on your skin. It's absorbed immediately through your skin and into your bloodstream. Now follow me again for this moment. Note that I said things are absorbed through your skin. So what protects you from things that are not supposed to be absorbed through your skin is what? You have skin and you have sebaceous glands. You have all glands in other words. They help to keep out excuse me, they help to keep out foreign invaders and bad bacteria from being absorbed into your bloodstream. So when you put on your hands, your body, something like this, what is this stuff called? Hand sanitizer, right? And this antibacterial soap, you are stripping your body of all of the natural oils existing on your skin at that time and allowing what those same bacteria that you're trying to avoid be absorbed through your skin because it no longer has a protection it's one thing to take a bath and or a shower and wash off surface dirt it's another thing to over bathe to over sanitize the external part of your body, your skin, and remove all of the protection that was given to us by nature by way of our oral glands and our skin. You see, if you get too clean and you get rid of all of the oil on the surface of the skin by this abrasive product, especially alcohol, you might think you're clean. But what you have just done was open a gateway for harmful bacteria to enter into your body through your skin. You have oil glands for a reason. That's why what we have soft skin is subtle, subtle. You follow? You need to have a protection on your skin. When you take a bath, when you take a shower, you do what, what I was taught in health class some years ago. Through friction, using a normal type of soap, through friction, you remove the outer layer of dirt and dander and anything that's not supposed to be there that has landed on your body from the clothing that you wear and from the atmosphere that we're all breathing in and walking 
through all of the time, the dust and the dirt in the air that lands on your body and the negative bacteria or the bad bacteria, you, re you remove the surface dirt. You're not supposed to remove your outer protection of oil. It's there for a reason. I know this was too much for a lot of you, wasn't it? Because it makes absolutely too much sense. You see, we've been doing it wrong all along. Now, I know in hospitals, medical centers, nursing homes, they'll get this bottle right here. Squirt, 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 squirt. Oh, I'm going to clean my hands up. I just finished working on that patient, uh, taking care of this client and so forth. That's because they are miseducated. All you have to do is walk to the bathroom and wash your hands with normal soap and water. Does the same thing. You see, once people started thinking health conscious, then the industry heard us. So, when people were not washing their hands as much, and they started thinking health conscious, and the industry listening said, let us tweak this product and add a label that says antibacterial. Now people started buying it in droves, believing it when regular soap was always enough. And especially when they came out with the hand sanitizer. One of the worst things that you could ever use is hand sanitizer because it strips your body of its natural oils, which is also its protection for your skin, which is the largest organ on the outside of your body. So think on these things. Start using regular soap again not so much the deodorant brand try to opt for the healthier organic types of soaps without all, without all of the perfumes and the chemicals in it okay this is brother teacher I know that this video was good I know that it was a value to you a benefit so why don't you just give me a like thumb up comment down below I love you and so long